truly believe, and I see it in my own life, that my days go better when I plan the night before. When I prepare tonight, it gives me a better opportunity to win when God blesses me to wake up tomorrow. When I plan tonight and I wake up tomorrow, I have a greater chance of being successful. I got a better chance of being on time to work. You will have a better chance of being on time to class tomorrow if you prepare tonight. And what up, when is this your boy, JK, man? You're now watching and listening to a new episode of the Tackle Thursday with JK Podcast. And you know I'm all about helping young adults win in life and at life. And I do so by tackling different topics each episode that young adults experience, that young adults face, things that they go through. Uh, and I share different tips, tools, um, things that young adults can take actionable steps um, to be able to leave from watching or listening to the episode and go apply immediate, immediately to their life to one, be and become a better person and, and have more success as a young adult, right? And like I said, each episode, I tackle different topics. And today's topic that I want you to tackle with me, alongside with me and tackle in your life is the topic for this episode with Tiger Thursday with JK is prepare tonight, win tomorrow. Prepare tonight and win tomorrow. And... Basically, man, what I just want to share and talk about right now um, for this episode uh, of the podcast, man, is just really talking about like um, when we talk about time management and and, and just understanding um, how we manage our time really uh, results into what type of success that uh, we experience. Um, it really can result in uh, how, you know, the knowledge that we acquire or how skilled we become at something. Uh, it, it just really how we manage, right, our time. And, and to start off is that we all get the same amount of time. We get, all get the same amount of time. And we all get 24 hours in a day. Now, how we divvy up those 24 hours is up to us. And a lot of times how we um, use uh, the 24 hours can determine if we're more successful, if we're successful one. Um, but then how efficient, how well I use my 24 hours can determine the, the level or the amount of success that you experience as a person, as a young adult. And you know, as a young adult, whether you're ranging from the 18 to the 35, um, we all have different responsibilities. We all have different um, obligations, depending on where you fall um, on the, you know, the age range from 18 to 35 or 36 or whatever the case may be. But we all get the 24 hours. And what I realize a lot of time is 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 that even me as a young adult, as a person, um, that if I'm not careful, that a lot of time can be wasted. Um, a lot of time can be wasted doing unproductive things, right? When, if you think about it, young adults out there, man, and just people in general that's watching and listening, um, think about just how much time, how many minutes you might spend just scrolling on your phone not using your phone to be productive, not using your phone to uh, maybe post content or to prepare uh, some content you might drop, not using your phone um, to send emails out to companies, but just think about you sitting down using your phone for entertainment, right? And, and, and I don't think there's anything wrong with being entertained, right? But I think also, and I, I have to check myself because one thing about my my um, podcast where I pride myself is just being authentic, be, being transparent, um, understanding that when I'm talking to young adults, I'm talking to myself as well. I'm a young adult, right? And so I, I know that what I am saying, it, 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 I believe it hits home for young adults because I'm there. I sit 
in that. And so what I what I'm saying is is that I believe we all need entertainment, right? That and and a and a place to to relax. Um, because life could be strenuous. Um, the different obligations, responsibilities that we have can. Like for me, I, I get off work um as an educator. And man, I might sit in the car for a little minute. I get off work, I go to practice. After practice, I might sit in the car for a few minutes and, and kind of, man, scroll through on my Instagram, just more so uh, blowing off steam and entertainment. And I don't think that there is anything wrong with that. However, if we keep having time, because I have found myself at times where I just stop and say, okay, need a phone break, right? Or you need an entertainment break. But when I look at it, I'm like, man, if I count up all these minutes that I'm using to get breaks in or, or, or to examine my phone, and I could be using that time to be more productive. I could be more productive with my 24 hours, right? And so I have to be honest and, and bring myself in and reel myself in and say, okay, then, all right, okay, I got my entertainment break. I got my refresher. Um, now let me, if I get the the in between time, um, I, my pastor uh, Bishop Walker, uh, root to the good bros. He said um, he 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 had a message um, filling the gaps. I believe uh, when he was saying that how you take advantage of your gap time, like if you have meetings and you have about 15 minutes between one meeting and the next, that, that those 15 minutes might be the 15 minutes you use to be productive opposed to doing leisure things, right? Um, so like, for instance, there are times when I'm working on my, my, my video reel, putting together my TV reel. And yeah, I could be listening to YouTube and I could be catching up on sports. And I do do that as well. But then I'm like, you know what? All right, maybe on this lunch break, I'll I'll listen to video to 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 the games that I call and I edit that to get my reel together. Um, so I I think it's so important to make sure we maximize our 24 hours, right? And um and the better that we get at maximize our 24 hours, right? The better we um get. I think the more success we will begin to see. And that comes down to the time management. How are we managing our times? Um, I heard um, I was listening to Eddie George, head coach, uh, great running back in the NFL, great Ohio State running back, uh, Eddie George. I heard him say this um, as I was uh, listening to a Bible study. Um, it was like a man's K Bible study. And he was talking about how at the beginning of every week, he, on Sunday, look, plans out his schedule. And that way, when he enters into the week, he has a plan. And I think young adults, it's so important for us that, hey, before your week of classes start, how about on Sunday, you sit down and you plan out or you um, at least create a framework of what your week would look like for your classes. Now, we know that we can't guarantee what every day of our week is going to look like. We can't guarantee what every 24 hours can uh, are going to look like because things do happen. However, if we have a framework, if we have, okay, on Monday, this is what I'm going to do, or these are the things that I'm going to uh, accomplish, I, I know um, then we'll have a better uh, outlook, a better idea of, okay, what your your week's supposed to look like, or you'll have a little bit more structure of how your day is supposed to go. I know for me, like I said, learning from what Eddie George said, I know for me in my calendar, I'll write the stuff that I got to get done that week. And I might not get everything done on Monday, but I'll go back to that list and say, okay, these were the things that I had to get done this week and so i will chop and 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 that's how on th wednesday i'm like oh okay i scratched out those two okay thursday oh i scratched out oh monday oh, okay got that all right man i'm on friday okay i still got these things left and then that way right at the, by the end of the week i don't feel like oh i didn't get nothing done but i'm able to look and say okay these this is what i started out this week 
saying that I had to get done um, by Friday, I got these things done. But whatever I didn't get done in that week, now I take those things. And so come next Sunday, I start a new list, but I take the things I didn't get accomplished in the prior week or the previous week. I write them on the next new upcoming week. Right. And so I think that's a good strategy to have as a young adult, um, especially my scholars, my young adults that that are in college. Um, you know, you're a senior high school in college or, or or just even just even in your work week. Right. And what I even furthermore, um, what I realized. Because I think when you plan your week out, that's that's kind of like uh the, the bird eye view, right? Because you're on Sunday and you're looking at, okay, this is what how everything is supposed to be come Friday, right? Or this is what my week is going to look like. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's the bird's eye view, right? When you sit down on a Sunday to, to plan out your week or to write down, oh, this is where I got a meeting. I got this to do. I got that to do. I got to go to that. Um, I got to go to that dance recital. Um, uh, your kid got practice, things like that. You put all those things down. Now you got more organization. That's the bird eye view of it, right? But then I want to get down to day to day, right? And so when I say prepare tonight and win tomorrow, I'm talking about your day to day preparation for the next day. That I believe that that we could go into each day with a plan, a plan to succeed, right? And I truly believe, and I see it in my own life that. My days go better when I plan the night before. When I prepare tonight, it gives me a better opportunity to win when God blesses me to wake up tomorrow. When I plan tonight and I wake up tomorrow, I have a greater chance of being successful. I got a better chance of being on time to work. You will have a better chance of being on time to class tomorrow if you prepare tonight. And, and, and so what I mean by that is, is what does preparing tonight look like, right? And, and it, might, it, it could be different depending on what your tomorrow is. So we'll just say like from a young adult, y'all in school, in college, and you know you got class at 8 a.m. in the morning. So at nighttime, if you try to wait till seven in the morning tomorrow to prepare for that day, then you're going to be anxious. You're going to be rushing. You might forget something. Why? Because you chose to prepare the day of. It's like studying for a test the day of. You study for a test the day of, you probably aren't going to retain a lot of information. But if you study for the test the day before and go to sleep on it, if you study for the test a week before, if you prepare before, then when it comes, you will have a greater chance of being more successful. And so what I'm, what I'm saying is, so if you got an 8 a.m. class tomorrow, then that night, you need to make sure you got everything in your book bag. You need to know where your keys are. You, you need to make sure your assignments are uploaded, your computer's charged. Uh, you, you, you got everything. Uh, even have may, Maybe even lay out your outfit. Maybe even iron it if it needs to iron. If, if, you know, if you, I know I wasn't really ironing like that, wearing clothes, going to college. But the point in, in what I'm trying to say is prepare. If you prepare, the moment you wake up for your 8 o'clock class the next day, all you got to do is put your clothes on, brush your teeth. You know where your bag at. You know where your keys at. You know where your bottle of water at or whatever the case may be. Boom, you out the door. And now you could sleep in longer, right? Because you prepared the night before. And I'm sure I've been there times where you're like, man, you know what? I'm so tired tonight. Man, I, I'll get ready in the morning. And you wake up and you thought you would have had more time before it was time to go to get everything together. And now you're running, you're rushing, and you're forgetting things. Right? Same thing to my young adult parents. The kids got games, sports the next day. Like, And I'm talking to myself. My son, daughter, they be having activities. Son got a soccer game. You know, we in soccer season. My dog doing his thing. Um, and we got a bag we take every week. But when I lay out the clothes, when I lay out his soccer clothes, when I know his bag, when I know his soccer goggles in there, when I know his cleats, when I get all that straightened, taken care of, I know what, if I know what Jayla going to wear, if I know, uh, hey, where, where me and Brittany coaching shirts, when, it's when I prepare for that the night before, our mornings go much smoother. 
we in better moods. Are we getting there on time? But it's when, hey, if I wait till the day, the same day of the, of the soccer game to, to get ready to find where his jersey at, to find where the cleats, oh, man, I might lose some. I might forget some. We didn't let, we didn't forgot his goggles before. Why? Why? How could we forget his goggles to the game? Oh, I forgot his goggles to the game because I didn't check the bag the night before. So because I failed to prepare tonight, I did not succeed when the day of the game came. So he out there playing in his regular glasses. Why? Because I didn't prepare the night before. And how many of us out there are trying to succeed today, but we failed to prepare last night? You trying to succeed tomorrow, but you won't prepare tonight. That we have to prepare tonight if we want to win tomorrow. That's that's with anything. And, and, and I'm using tonight and tomorrow. But what I'm also saying is wh whatever that goal is that you got down the street, whatever it is, if you're a high school senior and, and, and you, you want to succeed in college, well, you got to get disciplined now in high school so you can succeed in college. Or you want to succeed as an adult in the workforce. You want to succeed as an entrepreneur entrepreneur well you got to have the discipline as an employee you got to have a discipline the discipline um where you are right now so you can have the discipline to where you're going because if you try to wait to get to where you're going to make sure you prepare to make sure you equip with everything you need it's gonna be too late see i i, I playing sports man i once i became a pro football player man um and, and i had one of my teammates floyd who really really showed me how to break down arena film I'm talking about when he broke that thing down to me, my game went to a whole nother level. I, I was already studying film when I was in New Orleans. I'm memorizing um, because I studied so much. I memorized. I knew what play was going to come next just by the recognition of the formation. But that only happened because I prepared the night before. I didn't wait. The first time I watched film, when, 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 when we would play a game on Saturday and, and we wouldn't come back to practice on until, uh, depending on if it's a home away, how many, whatever, until, you know, that Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday, the first meeting that we have wasn't the first time I watched film. That I was watching film, I prepared for Monday's film session Sunday night. Because I was watching, because I wanted to know, I wanted to go in with an idea so of uh, who the opponent is. I didn't have the game plan yet. I was going to get the game plan once I got into the, the, the um, facility, but I wanted to have an idea of who I'm playing. What's their tendency? But I did that by preparing the night before. And so the last thing I just want to say is that um, when we plan and prepare tonight, then our tomorrow becomes more organized. And when we're more organized, it becomes more purpose-filled. See, where there's no vision, the people perish. So in other words, right, if you don't know where you want to go, then it's going to be hard to move with intentionality. When you don't have clarity, then you can't move with intentionality. If, if, if you turned off all the lights in a room, you're, you move with um, caution. You move with hesitancy because there's no clarity. You can't see. But if you turn the lights on, think about how fast. You ever been looking for something and the lights was off and you, and, and you couldn't find it? But, but somebody said, why won't you just turn the light on? And boom, you find it immediately. Because when you have clarity, when you can see where you're going, you're able to move with intentionality. So what I'm telling you is that if you prepare tonight, then your tomorrow becomes more clear. So when you do wake up the next day, you're able to hit the ground running and know, okay, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I got to, you look, able to look, look at your notebook and say, okay, I got one, two, three. I got these four things. I know who I got to email. I know what I got to do. I know you're able to move with intentionality. And so I know this is something big in my life that I have to remind myself that I have to continue to work on and continue to get better at. And I just believe that as young adults in whatever facet or area of your life, like I said, it could be with your kids. It could be with your spouse. It could, it could be on your career. It could be um, with school, whatever it is, whatever awaits you tomorrow. If you prepare for it tonight, you have a greater chance at winning 
at that tomorrow. You have a greater chance at su succeeding tomorrow when you prepare tonight, man. Hey, so with that being said, man, y'all continue to wake up, striving to win on purpose, be intentional about winning, and y'all have a blessed day.